Howdy all, how's everybody doing today? I'm the Cowboy from the Cosmos, here to bring you another Risk video. And today we're doing something pretty special. So, a buddy of mine, my friend Parlox, current 2v2 champion, he's a great 1v1er. He, hosts, he owns the all-GM Discord server, so he's definitely a well-known member of the community, and a good buddy of mine. Um, he challenged me, in the comments of my last video, to do Simple World Caps in a six-player public lobby. So, you know, I was thinking to myself, okay, this is going to take a long fucking time. But we'll see how long it'll take me to get this done. So, yeah, we're going to hop right into it. I'll show you quickly the settings of what we're going to do, and then we'll get started. So, if we go here, we're going, obviously, Simple World. And I've decided on uh, using Fixed, Manual, No Fog. The reason for this being, I feel like a lot of players are going to be kind of dumb, because they're not really going to have anywhere to move. And they're going to hit each other's caps. So I'd like to see them do that. So I can take advantage of it. We're having manual on because that's the only way to play uh, caps, in my opinion. Well, auto caps isn't actually, like, that bad. But on Simple World, I think you need it. Uh, manual. And then fixed. The reason we're going for fixed is because I'd like to be able to early game uh, wipe everyone out. And prog takes slightly over 15 minutes for the match-ins to be worth anything of value. So I think that it's just not worth my time playing Prog on this one. So I'm going to bet on the odds I get a good fixed match. 60 second turns of course because I want to make it quick. And blizzards because that way we have less territories on the map to conquer. And on top of that it will be easier for us to get a bonus hopefully. So we have alliances on because you know that's just how it is. I always put alliances on when I'm playing pub games. Because it helps stop pointless suicides on me. Anyways let's get into the challenge shall we? Alright then, so right now we're currently queuing into a game and I decided while I was waiting for players what I thought would make the most sense is because we're doing a um, manual setup phase and those can take a lot of time and that's mostly out of my control because players could take the full 60 seconds which would be an entire 15th of my time that I have to win this off of um, each turn. I've decided that we're not going to count the setup phase to how fast I can win the game because in my opinion, when you're playing manual setup, the game doesn't really start until you've, you know, started making the ability to attack. So, we're going to see how well we can handle this. Currently, two players are f going for Australia. Okay, guys. Um, red player is going for NA. Alright. Let's see what blue player does. He goes for Africa. Oh my god, so we're getting Europe. We're guaranteed Europe now, right? Unless someone puts a cap inside of us, we're guaranteed Europe. This is such a good start. I'm really excited to see where this goes. Green player seems going for SA. All right, then. So, purple. Okay, so I think pink and yellow are going to fight with each other over Australia. Very lucky this is the kind of lobby we're in. You know, we might actually win the very first game right off the bat. I thought this was going to take a lot of tries. We'll see. Um, okay, so currently, blue is expanding around, doing their thing. I'm going to throw out alliances now. We see if we can get everyone on board. And... Once everyone's picked their territory, once we've placed all our troops, that is when the challenge begins. So that will be when I set up the timer, and I'll figure out some way to prove in editing that this took under 15 minutes. If it takes under 15 minutes, I have no clue. Um, so yeah, currently we are just waiting for players. See, this is what I mean though. If we counted like setup phase, dude, this could take fucking ages. I have no clue how long players will take. Of course, I'm going to be trying to be uh, speedy with my picks from here on out, so that I can try and shorten the set phase just as much as possible. Because I don't want to stay here for any longer than I have to anyways. Hmm. Alright, so red player seems to be going for NA, but the biggest flaw he doesn't realize is that I've basically, like, cucked him. Because he can't hold NA. Because whichever way he tries to hold it from, I'll just break him on the other side, right? So... NA wasn't a very good choice. You should have picked Europe, my friend. I don't really know why no one took Europe. It's basically better than... It's literally better than Australia. It has one attack point, unlike the Australia on this map, currently. And it rewards three times as much. Very lucky we're playing with some noobs here. We'll have to see their rank after the game to see um, how good they were. Hmm, okay. Green seems to be trying to go with the mindset that they're going to hold South America. 
So they're not just stacking on one big army for a cap. Interesting. That's a fine strategy, of course. He can do whatever he likes. Although I would, in my opinion, think it'd be much more intelligent to be just making one big army. Because I think a lot of people are going to start running out of their caps real fucking quick. Players are going to wipe each other out. Also, when I'm recording this video, I should say, the caps have been fixed. Bound splits is not broken towards them, where caps are treated like a normal territory. Because for a few days, that was the thing. Where basically, you could just hit a cap, like 15 v like 12. Like, if the cap is 12 and you're attacking at 15 and win, like, consistently. And I don't really know why that was a thing, but, um, somehow they fucked the balance blitz. And now it's fine again, so. SMG coming in to fix the caps in a very quick fashion. Appreciate it. And it makes this an actual challenge, because originally my thoughts were, well, hey, I could just, you know, go ahead and one-shot all their caps, um, <laughs> very early on. And I tested in a pass and play real quick to see if the caps are fixed and they are so we'll have to see hmm okay so pink and yellow still stacking up there we're about to get started here we have only a few more turns of or cycles of players picking people are being quite quick about it so that's nice i'll probably throw up an edit how long the game takes with manual setup and how long it took without like not counting it and then that way you guys can decide if I pass this challenge or not. I mean, if I pass. I don't know clue how many attempts this will take. We'll have to see. If it takes like over five, I'll probably just edit out um, like the first few attempts. And I'll just like speed them up so it can be like, here's how my first few games went. You know, we'll do like a little bit. So I'm sure it'll take multiple attempts here. But we'll see. Okay, everyone's placing their caps down. We're about to get to me. I'm going to have Europe, and I'm basically guaranteed to hold it all game. So, I have by far the biggest advantage over every player here. All honesty, though, this is kind of a ridiculous match that I even was allowed to get it. So as soon as I saw Europe, I was like, fuck, someone's going to hold that dude. Because I'm, like, last in the turn order. I'm fifth. But nobody took it. So, we'll see. Pink player goes first. What are you going to do, pink player? Are you going to get a card? Or are you going to do okay? Pink player's about to be out of this game. Because he doesn't know how the caps work. And... Do your attack, bud. Come on, there you go. Alright. Sorry, yellow. Sorry, pink. You're both out of this game. We're immediately down to a four-player game. And only one attack has been made. Yellow might be able to survive for a small bit. But I think he'll be struggling to keep himself in the game for a while here. We'll see, maybe he just straight up kills Pink out of anger. That's what I would do, I guess. Get him out of the game, at least. But it might be smart to just balance both caps there. Just go, like, 5-5. Five and five. Let's see, what does he do, what does he do? I'm trying to hope that this game goes quickly. So, the quicker they make their turns, the better. But this guy seems to be thinking. Okay. He's getting his attack done. Cool. Are you going to finish him off? Yeah, you are. Okay. So, you're not going to hold any caps then, Mr. Yellow. Hmm. Alright. Pink's out of the game. We're already down to a five-player game, and it's been, like, what? A minute or so? So, we'll have to see if we can get this to, um... Keep going at that pace. That Then this won't be that hard. We'll have to see, though. You know, I've never actually tried six-player Simple World... But it's more available territories than I realized. Like, I really thought it would be like half the time we're card blocking each other because of caps. But now there's... I can actually see myself getting some territories for a little while. Red's going to do that. I'm in alliance with him, but I'm going to have to break him. Because I don't want another player getting as strong as me. I want to have an overwhelming advantage. So... Sure, I lose some troops crushing his 9. But also leaves his cap weaker. So I'm basically knocking one opponent... To a much weaker state. So that in like one or two turns. I'll be back up to how many troops I had before. Right. Not going to lie though. Yeah, that's actually a pretty solid defense. Okay blue takes yellow's cap. That's fine. Ten fucking troops. Okay yeah. That's huge. Guess it is nice being towards the end. When, if you secure this area. Alright we're going to hit his nine there. We'll leave the three. And then we'll fortify it back. Our alliance is over. <laughs> Yeah, that's understandable. You know what? I would break the alliance for that, too. 
Um, all right. Let's see what uh Mr. Green Bean does here. Oh my god, is he gonna hit a cap? Yup. <clears throat> well, I think I win the game then, because everyone else's caps besides Red's is quite weak, but I think that Red is going to fall behind quite quickly. Blue is the other powerful player, I guess, but I don't know. He doesn't look to be in too good a condition. Yellow's going to swipe up the blue cap. Makes sense. You get him, man. Is yellow going to hold? He is. Cool. So he will keep one of those caps, but he won't keep them both, because I'm sure blue will take the other one. All right, we currently have red here. What's he going to do? He might retake NA, or he might chill. I have no clue what he wants to do here. Cool, he retakes NA. All right. Oh, he's going to hit me. Okay, yep. Yeah. Well, that's fine for me. I'm still the strongest player. And he just weakened himself so I can kill him. Thanks, dude. Cool. So I get NA now. And I can hold with two caps. I'm in a very strong position. Cool blue breaks. Yellow. Makes sense. Goes back to his cap. Eight troops. Yeah. Uh, do I want to go from up there? No, we'll go from Asia, I think. Yeah. All right. Go take him out of here. We'll leave three in this territory, I think, and bring the six up. And in that way, our caps, both of them, have enough troops that they won't be taken by a player this turn. Oh, you know what I could have totally done? What if I put my stuff up in uh, Asia there? You see, like, Russia? I could have made... Because blue's currently blocked off from hitting me, right? So no one would have been able to break me there, and I would have had only one defensive point. Oh, well. Guess uh, we don't have that now, but we're fine. We're still holding the two continents anyway. That matter. I think this game will be over very soon. So currently we're looking on a good pace to um, hitting this 15 minute record thing. Not record, but challenge time. Green player. Okay. I would have recommended he didn't do that, but he's going to hit this cap. I already know it. Yep. He actually won decent odds. He didn't lose a lot of troops there. But I think yellow's going to be angry about it and hit green back anyway. Hmm. Five troops, yeah. See what Mr. Yellow does. Okay. Takes a six. Brings over 5v3. Well, the cap doesn't have its extra dice. So he does win it. Solid stuff. Okay. Green should end his turn here. Or green. Yellow should end their turn here. And that'll be all I need to do. Oh, okay. So yellow's trying to kill green. That I don't think is correct. But best of luck. He needs a manual, those, right? There's Oh, well, okay, that's just pissing away your troops. So here's the thing that's on my mind now. Blue's going to get all their cards. He's going to get a 10 trade in. He's going to take the entire lower half of the map. But he can't possibly defend all these caps. So I think my goal here is that I want to try and um, constantly be taking caps off of him and breaking his bonuses. And if I can, leaving his, whatever his stack is, um, locked somewhere. If possible. And we'll kind of just bounce around the map, just fucking with him. Staying alive here. I still think we can win. We have such a uh, good position. And because the way that turn order works out, he's not going to get these bonuses. Until after I've got mine, so I'll break him. He'll never have bonuses. I'll keep having him. Advantage, advantage. So we just got to make this end quick. Sorry if I'm, like, kind of uh, talking really quickly right now. I'm just really, like, let's go, 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 go. Okay, so he's going to try and break me. I don't think that will work. That's a 9 on 6. Those are pretty bad odds. On the fixed caps, like the caps that are, like, good... Those that won't work. Right? Yeah. Cool. He lost eight troops. I lost two. That's amazing for me. That's just him losing more and more troops. Which is important to me. 13 troops. Cool. Let's go fuck him up. Alright, we're going to obviously break Asia here. We're going to leave that 13 locked inside himself, actually. So I think what we'll do is we'll take both his caps and we'll break all his bonuses. And in that way... We're looking good. 
will make it so that he has to go through himself to, uh... Like, what's it called? He has to go through, um... Me, if he wants to use that cap stack. I think that's good. We'll make, like, a 12 over here. Because he can't break Europe anyway, right? Because he doesn't make enough per turn. Unless he has, I guess, a 10 troop set on... Oh, shit. I just, <laughs> I just realized he's got five cards. Okay, well... And he has a 10 troop set. This is bad. But we also have one ourselves. So I just have to hope he doesn't prioritize the right things. Okay. He's going to go through there. He's going to break both Europe and NA. But this means he can't break South America. Oh, okay. Then he only breaks Europe. That's fine. Or only breaks NA, I mean. That's fine to me, actually. I'm very happy he breaks only NA. I'd rather that. So this is this is the perfect outcome I could have asked for. Because on my turn with my 10 troops set and um, one continent plus two caps, I'll have plenty of force to push right through him. And the odds of him having a 10 troops set and three cards are quite low. I thought he had three cards before, but now I know he does. So, my mistake for fucking it up, though. Let's see here. Okay, yeah. 22 troops. Fuck, yeah. We're going right through him. 25. Lost 11 on that first hit. That's brutal, but we're going to keep going. We should be good. Hit that. Hell yeah. Sweet. Pull this three to this other cap here. So that way he can't come through Asia and take the cap back. Meaning he has, like three territories he can hit and none of them are important to me so we hold the australia continent he might break na i'm sure he will actually but we'll hold three continents still and that's not bad plus also all these caps that's a lot of troops i think on his next turn we might just win straight up hmm let's see here okay so we'll come through We'll reinforce these cap these troops a little bit, just in case he has a 10 troop match in. And now we shall go through NA here. We'll go into Asia, I think. Yeah. We'll chill. Now we're going to do what I wanted to do before, where we have a single big defense. Because even if he has a 10 troop match in, that's 15 on 14. Then he loses all his troops. I have a 10 troop match in, and I just crush him after that. So if he really wants to piss away his troops. Oh, well, okay. So he ends up instead just taking Africa. He loses. Good game. And after this, I will check what the time was. So I think that was under 15 minutes. I don't have like a timer next to me, but we'll have to see. Uh, so yeah, thank you all for watching. And I'm going to go edit this now. Hey sir, so as you can tell uh, in this clip in editing, you can see that I put a uh, like split in the video and 10 minutes and 43 seconds, uh, well 43.7 seconds, was the exact amount of time that it took for uh, me to do that challenge. So pretty cool. It turned out to be about 16 minutes if we count the manual phase in there.